Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. We've had some really mild weather lately and uh, it's been fantastic. I got to fly my paramotor and all of that. I've had an absolute ball, but it's cold now, back to reality. Now, I've taken this off the stove in the house and brought it out here just because it's easier to do out here. Now, I have it resting on the handle. I just have to be a bit careful with it. The, the trick is to get the old rope out, all of it. And, uh, and that's it, like you can see just how hard that is. It's not supposed to stand vertical, you know? But um, anyway, so we'll, there's a little kind of a chamfer, a little seal, a little um, rebate in the door. Uh, maybe you can see it there along here, you know where I've got my finger, a channel if you like. And um, that's actually where the new rope lives. So most of these are the same, you know, they're not all shiny like this one. Uh, this is a nice stove, it's a Stanley Aaron, um, really good boiler stove, 21 kilowatts, uh, 15 to the water and 6 kilowatts down to the room. So uh, really good, really nice stove and all of that, um, but they all need a bit of attention. This one's getting a bit of a service now, I'll change out the, the seal. And to get the old kind of gunk and bits and pieces out of it, I'm just going to use a Dremel. This literally only takes a few minutes. You can do it on the stove. Um, I just thought I'd do it out here to make it easier for, to, you know, to do a bit of a video. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I used this Dremel and it was crap. I had a different blade on it um, for, you know, cutting a paramotor helmet in a previous project just a few days ago. But um, I've got a little wire brush attachment to it on the top of it. I don't know if you can see it. And just when I spin it, you know, and I'm just going to use that like a dentist drill or something for getting the, the, the crud out of there. And uh, when I've that done, then I've got some glue I'm going to use on that. And I'll show you that glue in a second. Now that essentially does that. Now there's a couple of hard bits in there, you know, where I've used fire cement before, maybe, I don't know when it was, years ago. Uh, I can still see a few lumps, so I'm going to get at that with a screwdriver and just scrape that out. Very easy to do. This particular stove will burn so all solid fuels. It'll burn coal, it'll burn wood, it's happy burning anything. Uh, some of these stoves will only burn wood, you know, where it gasifies the wood. This one's a bit of an all-rounder. Maybe not as efficient as a wood burner, um, you know, a gasifier, but it's very efficient. And, uh, you know, I get to heat the water, my underfloor heating and all of that with it. So that's it. Now I'm just using a wipe to make sure that all the dust is out. And see how dirty it is already, you know? So it's just to make sure that when I put the new rope on and I put the, the rope glue in there, that it's all good. You know, that it wants to stick, because it won't stick to dust. So I'm just using the screwdriver to help with that. Now this is a working stove, you know, it gets a lot of use in my house. And when it goes back in tonight, I've got some wooden offcuts that are going into the stove, you know, so. Um, Currently about two or three degrees outside. We're going to have frost on the ground any any time now, and probably go down to minus three or four overnight. <laughs> now, so I can show you the difference between the rope. Obviously, I can stand this one up like Houdini or something, you know. Or but this one is just pure flexible. You know, I can't do that with the, the existing rope. This was good once upon a time, but not anymore. And when I close the door op over and tight, I can actually see down the side of it. I can see the flames, uh, which is not good. So. Anyway, I'm just going to cut a piece of this now. As I said, I'm going to put the joint between the two hinges and set it up. And then I'm going to glue it into position. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to go pulling it too tight so you're making it narrower. You want it the full um, width of itself, you know, it's, um, at rest. And that way when you close it, you've got a bit of sponginess in it then to, to form a nice tight seal. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it long deliberately. Now, I don't have a scissors out here, but I'll just use the Stanley knife for now. Okay. Alright, this can go for one of my other projects.
Now I have a couple of different types of glue for this. One of them looks to me to be high temperature sealant, high temperature silicone sealant, um, which I don't like because it can burn off and all of that. Uh, it's also smelly, <laughs> you know, it, it makes smoke when it does burn off. The other one I have is, um, is a liquid, it's a ceramic liquid, you know, a bit like um, the glaze on a, on a mug or something like that or a plate. And um, this stuff, when it comes in contact with heat, solidifies and it's really good. But anyway, this stuff was about a tenner, about 10 euro. It's the Ville stove rope glue. That's it, just the Ville stove rope glue. I've used other glues in the, in the past where you get a small little bottle of it and a brush. And I found that very good, but I couldn't actually source it this time around. So I'm literally just gonna run it. I'll get you in close here. Now I'm just running a bead. along it there. And I'll do that the whole way around now. Now I can always add more. You just want to make sure that you have it in the corners and so on. So that's it. I just put a bead of this stuff all the way around. Now remember I said it was going to start in the middle of the hinge bit. So look, there's the piece I cut. And I've just started in the middle of the door between the two hinges. And I'm just literally bedding this stuff in. Now again, I'm not pulling it tight to make it happen. It's just at rest. So all I've done is gone around with a bead of stove glue, all the way around, you know, and this, I just push the rope into it. So where the ropes actually join, I'm just gonna put a bit more there. And uh, all I've done is I've got the scissors, where they're gonna join, say there, I'm just gonna chop it. Okay, so there we go, that's that piece out. And just at that joint piece, I'm just gonna put a bit more of this stuff in to cover the joint and push the two ends together. I'm actually freezing cold out here at the moment. Um, so look, I need to get my stove going in the shed. This one's for the house. So I'm gonna clean the glass now, but there you go. And there's the joint. Okay, that's it. Couldn't be easier. You know, if you can squeeze toothpaste, you can do this. Okay, so that's my stove glue. This was the Ville something or other, you know, stove glue. And this is the other stuff that I didn't use. It's German. Often schnuckle bear, I don't know. It says 1100 degrees C, you know. Now 1100 degrees C is mental high. Uh, iron melts at about 1200 C, so. But I've used this before and I actually made smoke with it. This stuff, very good. So look, you can get whatever you can get and, uh, and put it on. You're just looking to stick rope. It's no big, you know, scientific project. But look, to clean the glass, loads of ways of cleaning the glass. You can put whatever you want on it. So you try a few things. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Now the glass gets pitted over time. So, you know, it's in a hostile environment. There's flames, there's all sorts of stuff going on, chemicals and whatever under severe temperatures on the inside of the glass. So it's not gonna remain new for long. You know, once it's, it's in use, you know, it has a lifespan. So anyway, this is fairly manky looking stuff. It's fairly dirty. Um, I'm gonna clean it now. So some WD-40, we'll try that. If you've got a lot of, um, you know, bitumous coal or something like that you're burning, you know, petrol or gasoline or whatever would actually remove some of that. I've got some WD-40, I'll try some of that. What does work really well with it sometimes is a bit of water and, um, you know, an ash, depending on the ash you've got. You know, just wet rag in the ash and then rub it with that. Um, but as I say, eventually, you know, the glass is gonna get pitted and uh, it'd be a bit obscure, you know, and nothing will do other than to replace it. But, uh, you know, functionally, you can, this, what I've got here will still work okay. So it's fairly dirty at the moment. Some WD-40 or equivalent. <laughs> GT85, we'll give that a lash. Now I'm gonna need something abrasive, this is not doing it. Okay, so we've got some kerosene. I'm gonna try and get some of this bitumen stuff off it with that. So just put a bit on the, on the cloth. Now I have to say, it's certainly having an effect on it. Just ordinary kerosene. 
I'm going to square it out so rubbing compound. Anything, look. You know, if I need to get new glass for this, I'll get it. But, um, just looking to take off some of the pitting. Now, there are marks on this glass that are never coming out. It's pitted, you know, as if stones hit the glass, that sort of thing. Um, because of the high temperatures inside the stove and, uh, you know, the nature of flames and so on, um, that's just the way it is. You know, they don't last forever. But I've just cleaned it up a bit. And, you know, you can let's get the reflection away from it. No. Okay, so look, you can see me through it. And you'll have no trouble seeing a flame through it. Now that's it, I've changed out the stove rope, just took a few minutes, took the old rope out, cleaned out the slot, got rid of all the dust, put some stove glue in there, and stuck the, um, the, the rope back on top of it. As quick and as easy as that. You don't have to take the door off. Some doors just lift up, they're on kind of pins. This one is on hinges, so I had to take four screws out to get it off. Um, but, you know, that's it. This is going to be back in operation in about five minutes. <laughs> I'm going to light the fire because it's cold. You know, it's about two degrees out at the moment. It's going to get down to minus something, maybe as much as minus four tonight. And, uh, and we need heat. Now, so I'm going to leave it there for now. If you like the video, please thumbs up. Subscribe down here. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck.